Right, so we've been talking about Yahusha's workings in our life and the main thrust of this is how far up the stem are you? Yeah. I want to say that I think we're being very polite. We're aware of the camera. Mm. Hi everybody, welcome to this little session. And I think, as you just said, uh, what was it you just said a minute ago? Doesn't not, matter. Anyway, I don't think we're being open enough. Yeah. I mm. think we're being fake. Because mm. when I have conversations by you, by with you by yourselves yeah. you're different on the camera yeah you know mm. so i'm fed up with the fakeness and the unreality and mm. i think we need to go up the stem on this mm. yeah yeah and look mm. at ourselves i don't think everyone's applying the three rules as much as they could because that's going to catapult you mm. and it's all about we're telling people about behavior mm. but our behavior well I, I don't think everyone sees it but i think ourselves there's a bit of fakeness mm -hmm. there and yeah. too yeah. aware of the camera mm. i don't yeah. think that's good yeah i yeah. think we should have emotions and show emotions Mm. You can't stop it, it's on your faces. Yeah. So I think mm. we should be real about mm. circumstances. Yeah. Right? That's true. Yeah. 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 And forget about the cameras, everyone's just watching because they're wanting something real. Yeah. And we've had a real supernatural experience. Mm. Yeah. Like, 15 years ago, we came into this experience. We yeah. read Fossilised Customs, which I think is a must for everyone to read. Yeah. And we've got the BYNB, yeah. which I think is a must for everybody to have as well. Yeah. Now, Lou White was led by the spirit of Yahusha to bring that to us. I don't think that belongs to him. I think that belongs to us. Of course, you've got to pay to buy it to get the information, mm -hmm. which I think is only fair to help him and his family survive. Mm -hmm. But we've gone on past that. We spoke to him about the three rules. He didn't want to accept it said it was black magic and witchcraft, went against us in all sorts of ways. So I was very shocked because we really loved him. And um, it was horrific to be persecuted by the brethren through him. Mm -hmm. um, that was very sad, but we've passed that and we've gone on now. And the three rules is a reality. Um, now you're doing the scripture, mm. you're writing your own, researching and coming across with your own version. Mm. And so talking about, which is marvellous, where you're going, I love it, it's wonderful, I'm excited to see each new chapter. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fabulous growth, mm. especially about the history of sin, history of Israel, mm. Not Yeshua, but Israel, mm. or both. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going through that. But the main push today is how far up the stem are mm. we? Mm. You know, as you said in the last video, you wrote winter's coming. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So and the, in the transformation, the metamorphosis, mm. everything's going through a very 
hard time. Yeah. But I think after you surrender your whole being mm. and you don't want worldliness and the minute it comes near you or you find it inside, mm. you can put it off. Mm. You have the power to do that. I don't think enough people are realising that or activating <coughs> it. They're not coming to unity. Mm. And Yahushua wants his bride in unity. Mm. So what do you think would be the main thing that's keeping people? You said it in your last chapter of Judges. What would be the main thing that's keeping people out from surrendering totally? Um, is that about the idolatry, things they love more than Yahushua, or parts of the world they still want to hold on to, or... Things of the world. Yeah. What you said, mm. still holding Behaviors, on to it. Things yeah. they, they think is acceptable. They put, yeah, mm. they think it's acceptable. Yeah. Mm. They put that before. Yeah. I mean, we used to go to church and we had adoration where we mm. used to worship mm. JC. Yeah. But there's no thing like that at the moment except within and a lot of people can't do that mm. by themselves yeah. which shows how far up the stem mm. so our adoration should be daily momentarily mm. listening wanting waiting adoring wanting to serve I think that rush yeah. that we all that rush we all wanted to get from the hype and the religious worship that you're talking about, you can get that through simple moment-to-moment -moment behaviours if he likes your behaviours. But because we don't do them or train ourselves to be aware of it, you might be at loggerheads with your spouse, you might be um, not speaking out when you should or shutting up when you should or doing what you're supposed to, what you know what you could instruct someone else to do that you're not doing yourself. You're not feeling that favour. You're not feeling it. And that Are stumps you. Are you talking you. from experience? I'm talking from experience, yeah. Right. We're putting all this word out, but I haven't spoken to my wife much this week. I mean, there's a different thing going on with work and everything, but that's just an excuse. I mean... Would well, you want to get real about it? Sure. We're here before... Sure. ...the brothers and sisters. I know, she's missing me like crazy, but she doesn't see me much. And I'm not giving her enough attention when I come home. And um, so that, that will cause her to have emotions against me and play all the games that girls play, staying away from me. So or are you letting blaming me know yourself for that? Uh, in the moment, I'm blaming Why her. Why aren't you giving her the attention she needs? Um, because generally, precious me may not like the way I'm being treated or her emotions, so I just respond likewise. I'll oh, stuff you inside myself, stuff you, I'll just do what I gotta do. If you're not gonna be pleasant, I'll stuff you, I'll go do what I gotta do. And there's plenty of that to get on with. Um, right, so if you just explain what you have been through moving from Atherton mm. to here, well, we've been what through, you've been through, just a quick summary. Simple. And you might see something from that. We've been eating together, sleeping together, working together, literally in the same shop, working together, lunch breaks together, raising children together. And now because our salon has just recently sold, um, I've been doing it an hour and a half trip of a morning, an hour and a half back of an afternoon. So I leave really early, most of the time before the kids even wake up. And I get home, unless I jig work or take time off, I generally get back just before dinner. So that's a big chunk of the day. And Therese uh, has just been establishing the house, getting the kids in good routines for the school, organising all that. And it's only pretty much been probably next week where she'd probably have the option to or to not come with me. Prior to that, up until now though, she's pretty much had to be here just to set it all up and get it all happening. So we've pretty much been separated. 
And so she hasn't wanted to say it, but I know she's missing me like crazy. And so if I don't have the right communication or consider her and what she's doing here or have thoughts or judgments or whatever to myself, that heightens her experience, I'm guessing, and I don't get received very kindly. So, and me thinking I've got the right, I've just been driving and I'm this and I'm that. I come home and I think, oh, this is what I've come home to, stuff you. We have a very passive relationship. The anger is all in the quiet things that you don't say. It's not so much a yell and scream, except occasionally. But, but that's what I'm thinking. It's so more, what happened with the kids when you when they came back from Sydney and you're all here? We were really excited. There was what? C-H-A. Chaos. It was chaos. Chaos. So we came in and we talked about. Yeah. And gave the older ones mm. the understanding of who they are in the family. Yeah. Their position mm. to help you guys. Yeah. Now, all mm. that's set up. Mm. So that, is that flowing and functioning? It is. It is. Yeah. It's working okay. well. Explain right. it to me. Oh, it's all right. All right, Phil. So I'm just on a roll. Yeah. So I look at what you said. Mm. Now, as far as I would be concerned, driving down for an hour and a half, I used to drive into the city, it was an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back. Love we Seven Hills. Yeah. Well, I'd put music on and I'd sing and have a ball. Yeah. And by the time I got got home, I was high. Yeah. You know, but Some, until some, something happened. Sometimes it is like that. In those that. days, I was a Christian and couldn't control myself. Yeah. But I enjoyed myself. Mm. But with the Ruach, we've got self-control. Yeah. You should be so full of adoration when you come in the door. Hi, everybody. Mm. You should be in that love spot. Mm. So why aren't you? Why aren't you doing that simple thing so that you can radiate your Yahushua's love to your family and why? Well, often I'm having it to myself. And if, if I come home to chaos or to bad moods or no, emotions, no, no, no. I take... No, 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 there's no chaos now. No. There's no chaos now. Not with now. the kids, no. You fixed all that up. No. And they're in order. Yeah. They know their jobs and everything's in order. They're working yeah. as a team with you two. Yeah. So why... Well, if we're not communicating the way we should be... Doesn't matter. You should be yeah. in a state well, I'm of not. mind... I'm not. Where you're in adoration. I'm not. I know. But what's the reason you're not? Just the truth. Simple truth. I'm not doing the rules. Did you know about this? Just yeah. not aware that about you could be. About being in adoration? Yeah. Right? So. I am in myself. I'm quite happily doing the drive. And when yeah, you're, it's yeah, easy to do this when you're by yourself. Yeah, but when you come in, yeah. you should overlook. Love covers a multitude of sins. Well, I'm Your not. joy and adoration that you've been in, that yeah. high you get, mm. you could be, should be putting that out. Well, should be. Yeah. So I'm just saying, why aren't you? Make it as simple as you can yeah. the answer. So that people can understand that you can do that with the spirit and self-control. I'll, I'll just look at expressions or I'll look at feel moods or I'll look at looks on faces and I go, oh, here we Making go. Making judgments. Judgments. Here we go. Well, what's, what's that going to do? this? Who's you know, that coming to you? Oh, that's a demon. That's, that's a right. Demon. And you enter yeah. the chaos. It yeah. comes into you. How long is this going to last for this week? You know, like it's okay, this so, game you play with but the is that the right attitude to have? Right. I could just cover it so over. So what are you making about all that? Excuses. For what? For my lack of doing the rules properly, mm. my bad behaviour. Mm. Yeah. Having yourself to yourself. Yep. Not surrendering in adoration. Yeah. That's what you could be doing if you wanted to. Yeah. You could come home a very loving, different type of a person mm. to judgmental. Yeah. <clears throat> Reason why judgmental is because of the torment you've been going through. Mm. Moving. Yeah. And getting all this organised, doing yeah. things that you've never done before. Yeah. Solicitors and, you know, mm. all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Real estate, the whole thing. Yeah. It's just been horrendous. Yeah. So you're ready to go. Yeah. Well, you can drop all that because mm. you can't perform 
you can when you're by yourself and you're anointed, mm. but you can't perform in a normal situation. Mm. So we have to come out of the clouds and just bring Yahushua's love into a normal situation and be as they are. Yeah. Think of others, as you said. Greater than yourself. That's it. Yeah. So you can adopt that. Mm. When you look at that... Did I say that at the end of the last video, did I? Yes. Oh, what a fake. Hi. <laughs> what a bloody hypocrite. <laughs> Can't even do it yourself. Well, it's because you forget. <laughs> yeah. They turn yeah. away, walk away from you and forget. Like a mirror. Forget of it, yeah. Yeah. So you don't do that. You stay in. Mm. Huh? Yeah. So you can look at that situation <clears throat> and be totally the opposite to what you be. And it doesn't take any effort. It's not hard. No. You just overlook things. Put yourself in the position. Everyone settles down. Yeah. Mm. You can do that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 I I have the capacity, anointing, or whatever. I, you, you can. You can just. So when you away. look at your behaviour, how far up the stem is that? The fruit? Oh, I'm just poking out of the soil. I think. That's well, you better hurry because the season's coming to an end. That's Harvest it. is coming. Winter. You've got to grow. You've yeah. got to feed yourself. Yeah. With the right behaviour, because yeah. everything comes down to behaviour. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Totally. So you were talking about talking about fruit and behaviour. Mm. You were talking about the fact how amazed you are when you do a study. Mm. Right, and you you've got the study all lined up, mm. and then you go into some of the articles. You look for something that's going to associate that yeah. I've written. Now, yeah, I know when, I, when I write, <clears throat> I usually sit on the back porch and I'm I'm listening, and um, I uh, usually just get a word. Mm. So I go and look up the word in the Hebrew, Strong's Concordance, mm. and then I look up scriptures mm. which associate with what the Hebrew says, and then I just listen and write an article. Mm. That's how I'm working with those articles. Mm. And you come along and you see what Yahushua's given you from your research, mm. yeah. you know? And mm. then you're amazed at how what mm. you find associates mm. exactly spot mm. on you said. Mm. Isn't that the sort of thing that happened with Max and Shani years ago? Yeah. Mm. Right, so yeah. this is coming through. What mm. would you call that as far as I'm concerned? It's a gift. It's a gift that comes. Mm. Right? Not all the time, but it comes. And you can use it and you take it mm. and then it's doubly powerful mm. as mm. it comes through from you. Mm. So this is, you don't know what I'm writing, no. I don't know what you're writing, no. but yeah. it associates. Mm. So this is the workings of Yahusha in our lives. Yeah. And mm. he does that multifacetedly Mm. in everyone's life. He's always in there working, giving us things mm. all the time. Yeah. So anyone can tap in mm. to that if they want, can't they? Yeah. yeah. Right? So <clears throat> how far up the stem are you? Are you putting the three rules to practice? Are you tapping in? Mm. Are you actually making your body behave Torah rather than what worldliness that you know and what is acceptable out there. Mm. You don't go out and cause trouble, of mm. course. You know, you mm. follow all the rules and do all the right things. Mm. But if you're not in there growing, as you said, mm. the change, mm. that metamorphosis of, of agony mm. comes to an end where there's a growth. Mm. And at the top, the fruit's going to come out. And that's the behaviour. Yeah. The stem has to grow and behave mm. tura. Mm. But you've got to tap into it. Mm. And as you said, those that pretend yeah. don't make it. No. Do they? No. Not at all. Mm. So 
we have to tap into Yahusha working in our lives, in the kitchen, in cleaning, in hairdressing, whatever. Mm. We have to tap into what he's saying to us. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm. Over Long. to you guys. Long. You want to say something? Mm. Yeah, it just blows me away. Do you want to say something? Okay, well, I've seen that happen mm. so much with, um, with the plan of what we're all doing together. From the beginning when we wanted to retire, we're getting old and um, sore aches and pains and wanting to Six finish. months ago, wasn't it, we started? Yeah. yeah. And we put our salon on the market. Mark and Therese wanted to move to Cairns because of the kids' education and jobs and wanted a new start and looking around and then finally decided, you know, they would take over a, 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 an established business, which was ours. So that gave us the um, opportunity to be able to, to move out. And since then, so many little details have come into play um, with with the sale of their business up in Atherton, the person that's buying that had to had to go through and sell her property first, and then that's contracts going through, and that has to happen before she can take over that <coughs> before he, Mark and Therese can take over ours. So the way Yahusha's doing it is mm. just the most amazing. It's got so many people involved, and mm. you can you can only say it's a miraculous thing and it's just amazing I've, I've just thought so many times I can't believe this this is really happening it's really going to happen yeah, you have. and we've had our, one of our houses on the market three times up in Atherton over the last 10, 10 years and never been able to shift it but it's already been um, been taken it's time, Victor. And the time. It's yeah. time. So Yahushua's saying, yeah, you're allowed to retire. You're allowed to have have a break. And mm -hmm. this is just so wonderful in our lives. And I just, other details are oh, so many little things where people and um, workmen and different people have come in and come and gone. And the way it's all transformed. And another house that the neighbour said he wants to... Um, take it over before we even put it on the market so all these things are in place and you know different things we needed to fix the house up with it's all been done done for us and it's just incredible the time frame and we just said well we'll just leave it in Yahusha's time and the time frame is just amazing because we're getting to the end of our career and Yahusha is right there all the way and now we find out that the time that, that Mark and Therese are going to take over is a time of Passover and I just thought of the word Passover, we're going to pass over our business and get free and <laughs> that's not the meaning of it but mm. I thought that was, <coughs> it's just incredible and I just know that Yahusha is working in our in our lives and it's just so encouraging just mm. miraculous so, you finished yep sorry so coming back to the point about being real <coughs> yeah how's your behavior been while you've been going through that atrocious up, how far up the stem are you oh not really i mean it sounds all wonderful yeah but what have you gone through I've tell been, the truth i've been furious i've been impatient i've been Frustrated. How much pain have you suffered? A lot of pain because I've been angry and just fighting Yahusha and saying hurry up and yeah. not giving in. This is what people want to hear. Yeah. Not just all the lovely stuff. Well, that was the outcome the of it goss, all. Juicy goss, love. Give him the juicy goss. <laughs> well, we're not into gossip. But this is. <laughs> into the Human beings. No, you're not. I haven't been putting the three rules to practice. Mm. Um, so what's to happened the, to you because you haven't, oh, just and you've been, known about it? Been flogged by Yahusha, and he's he's held things back, and he's stopped things, and 
hasn't let things happen when I thought they should and just the way things have worked. But They're happening, but we don't live in that reality. We look at all those same things happening yeah. and we can still find 10 negatives in it. How lot much longer is this? Yeah. Isn't going to work? That's yeah. So we're looking at the same thing that in retrospect is amazing, but day to day it's not mm -hmm. amazing to us. Yeah. It's like, how much longer is this going to go for? Yeah. That's not, I'll do, be doing this forever, I'll be this, this, this isn't, it's all the same reality you're looking at. One's negative and one's miraculous. Mm. We're not living the miraculous one. No. Unless we, have to, unless we have to get on a video and tell everyone how miraculous it is. Well, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but well, what do you got to do to live the miraculous? You got to believe it. Get up the stem and believe it. And bear the fruit. And when all that comes to your ear, oh, just get lost, you know, like, not listen to that. Why aren't you? Why are you living in the negative? Self-control, lack of, <clears throat> not exercising the self-control. Mm -hmm. We have the right to not listen and we entertain it. I entertain How's it. my behaviour before you guys? Long-suffering. Been amazing. Just Can been you patient. catch me out? No, Never. I've tried. You know why? Because you've got good behaviour. Because, because you're you've bearing gone the fruit. Agony. <laughs> you don't yeah. want to be. I've seen you do all that hideous stuff to everybody, just like they were doing to you, and you're sick of the pain. Everybody else seems content in the misery of the pain. You weren't content in it. You wanted a way out. The only way out is through your behaviour. That's it. So you grow to maturity and bear the fruit in your behaviour. Yeah. And the best way to do it is yeah. the three, three rules. rules help so much. Yep. Yeah. Why aren't you taking advantage of it mm. for your life? Mm. Yeah. Stupid. Very. See, if, yeah. if we want the guys out there to see the power that we're experiencing in our lives, mm. how he promises to look after us yeah. and protect us. Mm. Yeah. If we stray, what did you say in your last video will happen? I can't remember the specific words I if said. If we let go, well... Well, you get cut off. Right. You don't make it. What else? Destroyed. You get destroyed. You get goaded. You get pain. You get flogged. Nothing will work for you. That's it. Nothing you, will work for you. fight against so you, you. You understand Yahushua's fighting against our behavior. <laughs> we say mm. we are, as you said in your last video, we mm. say we believe, but... Mm. Yeah. Lip mm. service. That's right. The uh, abandoning. What was the cat thing? Cat thing. Cat. Catastrophe. Some yeah. word you were going on about. Anyway. I know it was abandoned. Our opinion of abandoned yeah. is to walk away completely. That's right. Yeah. And Yahushua's opinion is you can abandon me just by doing the same thing and then bringing the world into it. That's right. Yeah. You're either hot or you're cold. Yeah. yeah. So what's worldly gonna, worldliness going to stop you from doing it? Shrivel your stem. <laughs> can I stop so you growing? You're listening to the weeds and taking in the poison. Yeah. Yeah. And you're making your job of growth longer. longer of metamorphosis mm. so slow and more mm. Mm. agonizing because you're determined to have your way. Mm. That's where we need to surrender completely to his will. Every step we take should be on the word, on the mm. scripture. Mm. It's up to us mm. to actually do that. Yeah. If we're not, there's no what? Fruit. Growth. Growth, Growth and maturity. fruit. Mm. Growth and fruit. Yeah. So it's, as you said, it's, he gives you everything, but when they went into battle, he would work with them. Mm. If they wouldn't go into battle, he'd work on the other side against them. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So can you feel those things happening in your life? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Then you have to communicate and do something about it and change mm. your behaviour or mm. stop it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to have joy because you've got victory. Mm. And you can celebrate with Yahushua. 
Mm. He just wants that to happen. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So we have to stop being fake and be real when we yeah. make these videos. Yeah. yeah. So people can see what we've been through. Agony. Yeah. Mm. Amazing torment and agony because of our own stupidity yep. and self will. Yeah. All that's got to die. Yeah. You can't have opinions about other people. No. You can't say rude things to other people. Yeah. You cannot behave like that if you want him in your life, if you want to be with him. It's no. not our business to judge. He says, judge not, lest you be judged. What you sow, you're going to, what you put out is going to come back. Mm. Yeah. So you get what you deserve in your behaviour. Mm. All it takes is to say, hey, you know, I'm not going to do that because it's not mm. in Tura. Mm. It's got a no Tura. Yeah. So you've got a job to do with your self in the meta. That's it. That's it. You have to do the work. Mm. Yeah. You have to adore him enough to put off and say, yeah, I'll do what you say, not that. Mm. And you have to die to yourself. That mm. grub has to die and be metamorphosed into a new creature mm. Mm. likewise with us yeah so how far up the stem are you in your own personal behavior what do you see from this how lazy i am oh i work so the cows come home stay up half the night doing this that this that project after project how lazy i am in my own practical responses what would you call instead of laziness what other word could you put there stubbornness unbelief second one stubborn unbelief can't count i would say <laughs> yeah i would say it's our unbelief yeah that it won't work for us yeah we think we have to do it we listening. think we have to do it you have we, to do it if yeah. you want it yeah. i'm yelling it out I'm yeah. yelling and yelling and yelling. Yeah. I'm sick of suffering this and I'm sick of suffering that. I'm this in the house and I'm that. And you can all just do what you're meant to do and get your mm -hmm. act together. It's been long enough now. I'm not put. I'm. 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 What are I'm. You I'm. About? I'm saying these are the these are the excuses you oh, give yourself to. Your thoughts. Yeah. This is the. Well, you're being attacked with that, aren't you? You're not controlling it and going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can. You can. You can't. You can mm. push it off. Yeah. yeah, no way. Yeah. Yeah. Get it out of your life. Yeah. It's up to me, each one of us, yeah. 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 to boot that out of our lives. Yeah. And it's not hard. It's not really hard. Let you say no. Mm. The hardness is when we won't listen and we won't give in and do what he says, mm. yeah. then he's against us. That's mm. what we're feeling. That's the agony. But the grub, when it goes in, and spins its cocoon, mm. doesn't suffer. It's in there, changing, going through a process of time yeah. and growth. And it doesn't fight and suffer. It comes through because it knows it's an, on a journey. Yeah. Like those birds that fly all across the world, yeah. summer and winter you know mm. and they breed and then they're back again the same process goes on for hundreds of years of the same birds mm. Huh? Mm. Yeah. up to us so mm. what do you think's the problem why people won't listening to doubts and believing them listening to unclean and not yeah, not believing that you can actually have that that you can actually Mm. Um, be in that state where you can adore and and you can well put the rules to to practice let people have it stop judging all those things to keep your behavior yeah that's yep. what I think right yeah I just did what you did <laughs> <laughs> like, so yeah. what um, percentage would you give yourself of living in the positive or negative, say the, say the positive first, yeah. what percentage out of a hundred would you give yourself in a day, <laughs> living yeah. in it, all of you? 
I'd say 45% positive. Yes. For me. Yeah. I was just going to say about 50-50. I was which saying. Which is not good enough. Yeah. 50, I'd say. Mm. Mm. Well, think about how many complaints the three of you have. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the yeah. reason why I said about 45% positive. Well, that's good. But think about complaints. Yeah. How many complaints do you have inside yourself that you take on board? Yeah. Would that be 45% or less? Because we're taught we're comparing the complaints and the suffering that come with them to being in the adoration and free. Oh, well, yeah, that might be around the fifty-five percent at least. So you only have forty-five percent of complaints inside you. No, I'm saying fifty-five percent. Fifty-five percent. All right. I'm quite changing my answer. Quite a few complaints. Fifteen percent positive. <laughs> well, you don't have to be extreme. Remember, we do have a growth. Yeah. We are having a metamorphosis going inside us. Yeah. But do you spend more time in the joy and the love and the peace and the happiness than you do in the negative? Which yeah. one? You know, That's what we need to talk to ourselves about yeah. and come into the full 100%. Mm. Yeah. And our behaviour will change into the fruit yeah. that he wants to manifest through our bodies if we're not open to him and in adoration well then we're not going to manifest he won't let his behavior come through us because mm. we're fake mm. you know you can walk around your whole life being fake and that's what mm. religious people mm. do yeah i but, get to sorry i get to the point where I, i've got so many chores to do and i think i've got to get through all these chores I don't do them with a with a really happy attitude, and that's that's my problem. I could change that and go through the same yeah. same situation. Why aren't you? With because thinking, oh, they're chores, like they're chores. I've got to do do, do do this. I've got this, 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 this. I've got only so much time. We've and noticed I've got to get that in that. your conversation. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's a, an attitude that. You I'm know, with you there, Victor. Which is, um, it's aggressive in, in, in the way I go about it because... It's very frustrating to live with. I'm sorry. It's, yeah. Anyway, I'm just saying, I'm looking at it like that now, where it's just another way to look at things. So you didn't see this? Yes, I've seen it, but I've just been... But you didn't see it like you're seeing it no. now? I, I just the, just the way I go about things. I think, oh, I've got to do this. This it's just putting myself in a situation where I'm feeling I'm pressure. badly done by. I need to do all this. I've yeah, we've got noticed pressure. that, and it's pathetic. Everyone I'm knows Victoria's sympathy. a worker, hard worker. Yeah, she's always busy. And she's got chores. Anyway, <laughs> just that's that's a, a you, pathetic way to look at it. If you shut that down, you can. I know. Do it unto your husha yeah. and be so grateful that you've got the strength yeah. in your body to be able to do those yeah. things. That's, you know? that's mm. it. You I can just... be rejoicing about everything mm. you do. Mm. So are you missing out? How far uh, up the stem are you in that? Oh, not very you far. Know, you look at yourself and you say, well, this is growing. Yeah. I'm going in there to grow this yeah. now. I want to bear the fruit of this. This is right. And nothing's going to knock you over. Yeah. Mm. yeah it's my only attitude towards things. And that's that's got to change. Well, what attitudes do you need to have? You look in the scripture and you see. Yeah. You've got to adopt that instead of what you're doing. Yeah. And this is the battle or the metamorphosis yeah. within you, the fight. The yeah. flesh is against the spirit, mm. the spirit is against the flesh. Mm. And if you're in that battle, it's hideous. Yeah. I don't want to live like that. Yeah. I want to be in that wonderful place where I've got his favour. Yeah. So I'm not going to do anything or say anything that's going to, you know, cause trouble or it's not worth it. Yeah. So I've looked at it. you and I've thought, it's just unreal how you, you live. 
and I can't possibly attain that because you don't know what day it is or time of the day and you're in this realm where nothing affects you and I've just thought I can't get Why can't there. you have that? But, oh. Why can't you get there? <laughs> Who are you listening to? Listening to unclean See? negative thoughts. You'll be retired soon, you won't have an appointment book. I oh, know, isn't that good? <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can forget what day it is too. No, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying I've listened and thought it's too unreal how how, how you live, but it's it's a, it's a different. Well, you can live how you want. I'm staying like this. Yeah. Forget it. And it's not, not responsible, and you know all these. I've things. been there. It's horrible. <laughs> mm. But I can see. I know everything that's going on. Yeah. I know our savings. I know our costs. I know yep. the budget. I know everything that's going on. I've got my eye on it. I'm not gonna dwell labor over it yeah and have negative feelings i trust him for it all that's it mm. and i just wait mm. if you're in that place i just go in there and wait mm. i don't want to hurt you or upset you i want you to get over it <laughs> and so does he so we all go whack yeah and people don't believe that he's there is he there he whacking? is there totally it's up to about us. every detail it's up to us to go yeah. there yeah, yeah. Very much so. mm. Thank you. That's if really you've got helpful. problems, we talk to each other about yeah. it. Mm. We talk to each other about it. You work it out with the tour. Yeah. Mm. As you said, laziness. Yeah. Mm. Wanting to do what you want to do. Mm. You feel your hoosh wants you to do. Da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've got to see the family what they want you to do too. I'm using the scripture as an excuse because when I step into it it's like stepping into a beam of light mm. particularly after this long now when you're in a bit of a routine and you know how it starts remember how you can have the long hours hour and a half drive yeah it doesn't have to be a labor no it can be a joy but i'm finding missing out aren't you you don't have to have that you can have that feeling outside of the word because he is the wherever word. you are he's yeah, there in you Live. You can have it when you're Living. around anybody if you choose to have it. Him. Him. Yeah. Get up that stem and bear the mm. fruit. Yeah. Think of others as greater than yourself. Yeah. Let everyone have it. Mm. Understand. Show the love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too yeah. many are into theology. Yeah. You know, Finding into that. looking at the the scripture in the flesh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. How's it discerned? Abstractly. abstractly so it's got to be abstractly discerned yes. through the spirit as mm. you read the word he will come to you mm. if you grow up mm. into the stem head fruit maturity yeah grow up into the head mm. start looking at things how he does mm. but you can't discern that mm. unless you're applying and he mm. wants those that get it and say yes the ones that are pretending mm. are fake mm. will not make it mm. so that's how we can tell by someone's behavior yeah. what they say and what they do whether it matches mm. and if they're doing the three rules with you it would be lovely but how many are yeah, no. so mm. he doesn't want a fake bride no. mm. He wants a real one. He's sick of the fake. Mm. Everything apart from Yahusha's word is fake. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Completely. That's a blowout. It's amazing. Good. We need to get more real. Mm. Yeah. We need to enter in this and see the fruit mm. coming. Yeah. You know, like what's happening with you interpreting the scripture. Mm. You can see the fruit and feel the spirit and yeah. have understanding and it's growth, yeah. it's knowledge and it's wealth. Mm. Mm. And you're giving that to everybody, but you're failing in another area that you don't have to. Mm. No. Why not have them both? Yeah. You know? Mm. Get the balance. Yeah. It's up to everybody to do that inside themselves. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be mis left out, miserable. Miserable. Left out of the wedding. Yeah. How much time have you spent in misery? Oh, 
95. Out of 100%? 95. 95. Yeah, that's right. pretty realistic. Okay, Maybe so you've been 5% in growth, <laughs> eh? That's it. That's it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, you've got a job to do with? Myself. Uh-huh. Mm. Concentrate on that mm. so that you can give. Yeah. You can hear him and love. Mm. Yeah. Up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Up to everyone, brothers and sisters, to fight this battle. Mm. Yeah. You know? And we only started 15 years ago, and we've grown through all this, and we're having this massive experience of Yahushua's power, love and protection all around us. Mm. And you can see there's an internal battle too. Mm. It's up to us to put it to practice, to get the growth to bear the fruit. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anybody want to say anything? No, I'm blown away. You can do it. You what are you blown it. away you for? Can, you can have it. You can you just have change it. your mind. Yes. You don't have to replay the tape of your life and pick all no. of it. No, you just have it. Change. Yeah. The metamorphosis comes, mm. bang. Yeah. Mm. And you're there bearing the fruit and behaving how he wants you. Yeah. You know all the words and how to behave. Yeah. Now you've got to look at, discern it, what? Abstractly. What do you want me to do here, Father? Mm. And you're listening all the time. You're flowing with him. Mm. You don't want to have a worldly life. Mm. You want to flow in the spirit. Because mm. this life is nothing but deadness. Mm. Yep. Yet it's so magnificently beautiful, the creation. But it's dead. It's all going to die. Mm. Everything grows up for a little while, bears fruit, and then crashes, crumbles. Yep. Same as a human being. They only have one life, one chance to do this, to find the truth, to believe and start trusting, mm. grow your trust. Mm. Mm. One chance, one life, mm. so they better make the right choice if they want eternal life to metamorphize into an eternal being, as you said. Mm. Yeah. So that's what the process is all about. Yeah. Yeah. We want the brothers and sisters to know. Mm. So they can all experience mm. his love. Because the greatest thing of all is love. 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 And he is love. love. So how could he be anything else? Yeah. Listen to those frogs. <laughs> Amazing. Wonderful, we're happy as mm. we can be too mm. because we're not in the world, even though we're in the world, we're not part, part of, it. of it, and that's what we're happy about. Mm. We don't want to live this worldly life, mm. we hate that. Yeah. We want what He wants, mm. and oh, how wonderful this world is! So amazing. What's the next going to be like? Mm. Mm. How amazing is eternity going to be? Mm. Some stupid idiots, clients say to me, oh, I don't want to live forever. <laughs> well, you're not going to, I say, <laughs> <laughs> with that attitude. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yet the whole world is looking for eternal life mm. but there's no way over the fence you've got to go through the door get your heart circumcised and put the seed planted and start the metamorphosis mm. Mm. why aren't preachers and teachers so-called brilliant men talking about this mm. sharing it with yeah. the younger generation so they know they can make the choice they can believe they can put their trust in Yahushua. They can start experimenting and believing and have the experience. Mm. They shut the door, those bloody carpetbaggers. Yep. They're wicked. Mm. And people, the next generations, need to know this truth. Yeah. 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 But you've got to be genuine. You've got to be real about your experience. It is that. It really is that real. You. He teaches you through the moment-to-moment -moment feeling. If he's love and you're not feeling it, what have I done? What have I said? You got to trace your steps back. Where did I lose? He was with me a moment ago. I felt wonderful. Now not so good. 
It can't You're be anybody wrong. else's fault. Yeah. So, yeah, my choice. And what you sow, you reap. It's so easy to listen and judge someone. Yeah. No one's perfect. Who cares? Yeah. You're looking at the heart and, you know, is there something there? Mm. You know, you might be able to show love and kindness to mm. It doesn't matter if nothing happens. At least mm. they've got that kindness, that uplifting. Yeah. Mm. And we've got to be a vessel like Yahushua was, giving out. Yeah. You know, he mm. does miracles, does mm. wonderful things. It's all within. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And on the outside. Mm. But it comes through him. Yeah. Not through a man. Mm. Yeah. Phenomenal. But what you say has got to happen yeah. before you know that's fruit. That's truly. Mm. That's true. Are oh, you going to like the next one? Yeah. It's about uh, prophet uh, Deborah the prophet. Yeah. And how if you, back in these days, if you were a prophet and it didn't happen, they killed you. Yeah. Because you're a false prophet. <laughs> Pretty serious to call yourself a prophet. Well, there's no authority like that today. No. No. They were living that authority. They had it. Mm. <clears throat> Nothing like that today. No. It's all fake. Mm. It's all unreal. Yeah. And you just have to discern by looking at behaviour mm. whether it's of Yahushua or not. Yeah. But where are they that are growing up? Mm. Where's the fruit? Yeah. Where's the conversation, brothers and sisters? Yeah. The real conversation globally yeah. <clears throat> needs to happen. Everyone needs to know all this. Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be one mind. Well, how far is that away? Yeah. <laughs> Not far. If mm. people grasp this, mm. they can start doing it. Mm. Love to hear some comments from people. Yeah. If they, you know. Yeah. Put it to practice. Mm. Yeah, the, your experience in it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Amazing. You'd like to say goodbye to the brothers and sisters. Bye. Bye, everyone.